Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to talk about what's new for our 3D scanning technology, specifically our Creoform products. There's been some major hardware and software updates in a few of the Creoform product lines. This includes the GoScan, the HandyScan, and the VX Element software. So let's go over the details. The GoScan Spark is the new and only 3D scanner in this category. It replaced the GoScan 20 and the GoScan 50. It's been completely redesigned, and there's been some major updates to the cameras and other hardware. It's a white light scanner with 99 stripes. You can capture geometry or texture. The scanner tracks off of natural features, so you don't need any target stickers. However, you can still use them if you want. One of the major updates is with volumetric accuracy. We're at just under 2 thou per running foot in X, Y, or Z. We're at just under 4 thou for resolution. And 1.5 million is the new measurement rate. The new ergonomic design and updated hardware help you get faster and more accurate scans, which make it a great option for reverse engineering. The HandyScan lineup is now made up of three scanners. The HandyScan 307 looks a lot like the HandyScan 700, which is the previous version, but it now has a black housing. The HandyScan Black and the Black Elite are essentially identical in appearance. However, there's been some major updates in hardware and 3D scanning capability. So let's take a look at the differences. The HandyScan 307 is a red laser scanner. The Black and the Black Elite have the new and improved blue laser, which make data capture a lot faster. All three scanners hold a 2M iSafe certification. The HandyScan 307 has seven laser crosses, 11 for the black, and the black elite has 11 plus single laser mode, which makes it easier to get deeper into holes and cavities. All three scanners are very accurate. However, the black elite is at an impressive 5 tenths per running foot in X, Y, or Z. The high accuracy and resolution of these scanners make them perfect for reverse engineering or inspection. However, because of the blue lasers, the black and the black elite can pick up reflective surfaces without any powder which makes it a huge plus for 3D scanning. To test it out, I took my HandyScan Black outside and I scanned one of the wheels on my Monte Carlo. It's polished aluminum, so it's a very reflective surface. Because the scanner is so portable and easy to use, I was able to set this up in minutes. I didn't have to use any powder, and I'm also in the daylight. Here's the real-time video of me scanning the wheel. And as you can see, the HandyScan Black picks up data extremely fast. And even though the surface looks really good right now, this is actually what we call preview mode, so it's not even the real surface yet, but I'll talk more about that after this video. There's different cavities in the wheel, so I have to tilt the scanner in different directions to pick up the data. I also keep going back to the middle of the scan so that I can ensure the most accurate scan possible. I don't have any targets on the tire itself, and as you can see, I'm still picking up very accurate data, even the lettering on the tires. The laser crosshairs and the targets turn green depending on my standoff distance. And I just continue to look for areas that don't have any data so that I can fill them in. Looks like the sidewalls could use a little bit more data. The software has an accelerometer, so depending on what direction I'm tilting the scanner, the scan on the screen will also tilt. And that's it. In a matter of a minute and a half, I have a very accurate and complete scan using the HandyScan Black Elite. And that brings me to VX Element 7.0. There's been a lot of recent updates that help you obtain very fast, accurate, and clean 3D scan data. So let's take a look at some of these. One of the cool new features in 7.0 is the guided workflow. It was designed for people that have little to no experience in 3D scanning. The way that it works is the software guides you step by step through the entire scan process, from calibration all the way to finalizing a scan. It's very quick and easy to follow. 
All you have to do is hit the next arrow and the software tells you what to do. There's also a workflow for parts that require multiple scans. For example, small parts usually require a top and a bottom scan. For this, the process works the same. Only this time, the workflow is going to include aligning the scans, merging them together, and then finalizing. One of the things you'll notice about 7.0 is that the calibration button and the configuration button are in a window on the right hand side. There's also some new features on the main toolbar with the scan button on the upper left hand corner. As you can see here, I have some extra data floating in space. For that, I can use the new remove background tool. The software automatically creates a clipping plane and I can grab the arrow to specify how much data I want to delete. Then I just hit create and the software will automatically crop that data from the scan. Now I can use my connect selection tool, select the data that I want to keep. Then I click on the inverse button and the software will delete all of that extra data. Although it looks like I'm done, if you look at the feature tree, I have an exclamation mark on my scan. That means that I'm still in preview mode and I have to finalize my scan. That just means render at the resolution that I selected. But before I do that, I want to talk about some of the other features. Optimized volumetric accuracy helps tighten the tolerance of all of your targets. Fill positioning targets just fills the holes behind targets. Optimized accuracy of boundaries helps give you cleaner boundaries. The new reduce noise tool helps you specify how much noise to remove from your scan if you have any at all. Auto decimate is a very cool tool. It basically recalculates your entire mesh giving you big triangles for the flat areas and smaller triangles for the curved areas giving you a higher quality mesh. If you want higher detail you can lower the number on your resolution. And the last thing to do is hit the finalize button. This will render your scan using all of the parameters you specified. Depending on how low you go on the resolution number, this process can take a few minutes. For this particular scan, it only took 55 seconds. And finally, you can export the clean and optimized mesh. And that's it for what's new on the Creoform product line. Thank you for watching.